Hey everyone, welcome back. I uh, wanted to give a quick update on how we're doing so far. I started playing in April of this year, so I'll put up how we're doing overall. It's like right here. And uh, yeah, doing a lot worse than when we first started. Um, you know, I know it's it's my fault. It's not, it's not luck or variance or anything like that because I just started. So I know I'm just playing poorly. Um, to kind of counter that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to play less, but when I play, I'm going to try to record everything, because I've noticed I play better when I record. I think I'm more disciplined, because I know someone's going to be watching it. Um, and then going home and re uh, like really digesting kind of what I recorded, and also spending some time on those online classes more. And I uh, think that'll get me to become a positive win rate player in the long run, but for now, we're in a little bit of a hole, I guess you could say. Um, excited to see if we can dig ourselves out of it. I will keep you guys updated. I will be recording and um, I'll try to be posting every week or every other week. Work's been a little bit busy, so you know I'll try my best to get as much footage as I can, but yeah, it's kind of the update. I appreciate you guys tuning in and commenting, and this is a little bit of a short video. I hope you guys enjoy it. It wasn't a huge win, but at least it was a win, so enjoy. It's one of our first hands of the day. We pick up Ace-4 offsuit in the big blind with about $300 behind. The button raises to $15 and the small blind folds. I go ahead and defend our big blind here and I make the call for $15. Making this call with ace-four offsuit is probably not the best idea. Luckily everyone else folds and we're heads up headed to the flop. I go ahead and make a blind check here to the pre-flop aggressor. And then we see the flop come out 3-4-7 with two diamonds. Uh, the button checks back pretty quickly. We make middle pair here and a chance of a straight, especially on the turn when we see a two of spades. I think it's about time we start building this pot up now. I make a bet for $15, um, hoping for a call here because we do have a pair at least and also a possible straight. Unfortunately, he does make the fold and we take down a small size pot to start off the session on a good note. Overall, I think we got pretty lucky on that hand because ace four offsuit, I don't think that's a solid hand to be playing out of position like I did, but onto the next hand here, we pick up pocket nines and I open raise to $15. It folds all the way to the big blind, who ultimately decides to make the call. We are now heads up, headed to the flop. I'm hoping for a 9 to come out, and on the flop, we see a 6-4-5 with two diamonds. It's a pretty connected board. When the big blind checks over to me, I make a fast bet here of $15. We have an overpair to the board. He makes a call pretty quickly, and we're now headed to the turn, which is a 3 of hearts. I'm in a weird spot now with the 3 of hearts, because there's two flush draws out on the board, and also a 7 or a 2 makes the straight. When I see him put in the bet for $25, I'm not completely convinced that he has something that good. I feel like if he had a straight or a, he was on a flush draw, he might have bet a little bit more here to get the pot bigger. I'm thinking the $25 bet is a sign of weakness. He might have some over cards in his hand and he's looking to maybe get me to fold or maybe um, chase something and he can make his pair. But I go ahead and make the call for $25 because I think we still have a pretty good hand here. The river comes out a four of hearts, which is a bit concerning because now the flush does get there. Um, like I said earlier, I'm not completely sure he was on a flush draw based off his very small bet size. When he bets for $30, I'm pretty confident here that we have the best hand. I feel like if he had a straight or a flush in this situation, he might check to us to get us to bluff, or he might just bet near the pot size to derive some value out of us. So based off that thought process, I'm confident we have a good hand here, but I don't want to raise because I don't think much worse calls me, so I go ahead and just make the call for 30 bucks. He shows ace-jack suited. We were pretty spot on with our analysis during that hand. Felt good to kind of break it down and get a right read on my opponent there. We take down a medium-sized pot for $170 and we're up on the session so far. Not too long after that hand, we pick up Jack-10 suited. I'm on the small blind with about $375 behind. When action's on me, I open raise to $15 and the big blind shoves all in for about $79. I already have $15 in the pot here. It's heads up and I'm not totally sure what this guy has, but with Jack-10 suited, I think we have a decent chance to win this pot. So I go ahead and put in the calling chips for $79. Hoping to see some diamonds on this flop. And unfortunately we only see one. It's a King-Queen-3 rainbow and one diamond so we need some help here jack of spades comes out might not be enough especially when the seven of diamonds comes out we completely miss we just get a pair and he shows a two pair with king queen i'm not pretty mad at making that call there for 79 dollars considering we had 15 dollars in the pot but we learned our lesson and take a pretty small loss there to go into our next hand where we pick up queen nine off suit in the cutoff hijack raises to ten dollars and i make the call button folds and the small blind calls as well Big blind call shortly after that, and now we are four players headed to the flop. 
The flop comes out queen 3 4 rainbow, small blind makes a check, shortly after that big blind and the hijack check, and I go ahead and make a check. Probably should have bet here considering all three of my opponents check and I do have top pair, but um, I see how it develops. When the 5 comes out on the turn, everyone checks over to me, I know it's time to start betting, I go ahead and put out a bet of $15, small blind folds shortly after I make that bet, the big blind calls and the hijack folds. We are now heads up headed to the river and the four of spades comes out. I don't think this necessarily improves my opponent, um, especially when he checks over to me. I'm pretty confident we have the best hand here. For some reason I value bet pretty low and I only bet $25. I think I miss a lot of value on this hand by not betting a bit more. I think hands like ace three or ace five might try to make a call here and he does put in the call. I go ahead and show the queen nine uh, two pair with the fours there on the board and he uh, mucks his hand, he doesn't want to show it. I wonder what he had, I really think he had something like ace three or ace five, but um, ultimately I think I bet too low, I should have bet a little bit higher, and then obviously if he raised, I'd probably get out of there, but um, yeah, I think I played that hand pretty poorly, we lose a lot of value on it, but um, at least we take down a medium sized pot. It's like almost 30 minutes goes by, and we pick up jack eight offsuit in the cutoff with $315 behind. It folds over to the big blind here, who does have a decision to make. I'm not sure why I open raise with jack eight offsuit. I think because I just gauged the table and they fold a lot pre-flop. I kind of wanted to polarize my range a bit. When he three bets to $30, I make the call. It's only $15 more and we do have a positional advantage here, so I like my chances. So we're heads up headed to the flop, which comes out 728. We make top pair with a decent kicker. He shoves for the remainder of his stack, uh, $45, and I make the call fairly quickly here. With that many chips already in the pot, and considering I have top pair, I think this is a very easy call for me to make. So that's why I did it too quickly, and I didn't put much thought into it. But obviously, I do want to slow down and think about my spots a bit more. There's not much more time to think. The turn comes out, a ace of clubs and a king of diamonds. Um, no thinking here. We just got lucky and made trips. I don't know what he has. He mucked his hand. I'm guessing probably like ace king or something like that. Uh, maybe ace queen. I don't know. But he loses this one. We take down a nice pot to end the day. Um, pretty short session, but yeah, we did okay and we came out with a win.